Now to the UK, where the NHS is in a critical condition and looking at India to rescue it. The NHS wants Indian doctors, at least 2,000 of them, to keep the health system from collapsing. A quick primer first. NHS stands for National Health Service. It's a publicly funded healthcare system. It caters to all UK citizens. The NHS was established in 1948. It was a major social reform after the Second World War. And this service offers cradle-to-grave coverage. You can have a baby, you can go visit a doctor, you can get an operation done, all for no cost. Of course, it's not truly free. It's funded by the taxpayers' money, so you do pay up. For decades, the NHS was a crown jewel for the UK. But now it's broken. Training is expensive and the burnout is high due to heavy workload. In 2022, 100,000 posts were empty in the NHS. That's one in every 10 nursing positions and one in every 17 doctors' jobs. So staff shortage is rampant. Waiting time to see a doctor is as long as one month in some hospitals. You have to wait for a month to see a doctor. More than 7 million pe people are on a hospital waiting list in the UK. That is one in eight people in the UK. Meanwhile, NHS doctors are striking. They want more compensation. They want better wages. So it's a truly chaotic situation. And what is the UK doing about it? Hoping to get doctors from other places, like India. The NHS will recruit at least 2,000 doctors from India. They must have three basic qualifications, primary medical education, basic proficiency in English, and recognition by the UK's General Medical Council. The process will be fast-tracked. Once they reach the UK, the NHS will train them. It's a postgraduate training exercise. It will be for 6 to 12 months. Once that is over, they will be deployed to hospitals. It's going to be fairly simple. No other exams, no additional training programs. And this is not the first time they're doing this, not the first time the NHS has wooed Indian doctors. They've done it before. In 2016, doctors have flown from India to Britain, again to deal with staff shortage. Plus, NHS has a long history of relying on doctors from overseas. 25 to 30 percent of its workforce includes non-UK trained doctors. The question is why? Why can't the NHS find doctors in the UK? And the reason is funding cuts. In 2008, the world reeled from a financial crisis and the UK too suffered. So in 2010, the government introduced austerity measures. There were budget cuts across the board. It also meant lesser funds for the NHS. It left their budget short by more than $28 billion. And since then, it has only gone from bad to worse. There's soaring inflation, high energy costs, Brexit complicating matters, and a an aging population that does not help. So it's the perfect crisis. Salaries have not kept up with the growing inflation, which means doctors no longer join the NHS. They prefer greener pastures, like practicing overseas. A lot of, all, a lot of them go to Australia and the UAE. Those who stay face grim prospects. They work longer hours and they're unable to take breaks, which explains the recent strikes. The NHS is now getting doctors from abroad. But that can only be a stopgap arrangement. It is not a permanent solution. Every year, the UK spends 10% of its GDP on health. Yet health inequality is rising. In 2022, the daily NHS running costs topped $236 billion. 40% of that went to staffing, and that includes wages. Yet doctors and nurses in the NHS have been working for the bare minimum. People have to wait for months for cancer treatment. Since 2020, over 200,000 people have not received life-saving surgery. So the NHS really needs a rejig. It pioneered the cradle-to-grave coverage. But can it really afford to provide everything for free? The policymakers in London will have to address this question sooner rather than later.